Okay, now this is America. We'll do something here. Now this can't see this corner here, right here. This corner, I just do it like this. This corner here, fold it like that. Piece that's missing represents rich and high powerful influence. This is the original, this is America, and the piece missing represents, you know, just say, the upper class of upper class, that rich area. And the rest is America. This is white America right here. See this? See this piece missing out? Is the upper standard of white America. Piece that's missing represents the rich white people. They're not connected. Why are they not connected? Because this these a group of people left over inhabited land is black people black people represent this piece that I will be folding in the bottom so we got poor white America and the piece at the bottom is the amount of black people there are in America now see that this is black people. This is rich white people. This is white America. Now, within this whole thing here, up here in the rich white America section, there will be another percentage taken off for, you know, just well to do affluent black people. They're not up at the top top but they're in the higher level that leaves this many poor white people in the middle of the country for those that realize that we have to take some more off for the Hispanics the Asians and uh, tourists and take it off that leaves this much of white America out of this much of America. See? Poor white America right here. The poor whites. Now, out of these poor whites, all of them watch the same news. Same newscast. And in this newscast, none of these white people at all, at all, depict there are a group of white people who are depicted. The ones who go through certain afflictions, you know, or, you know, they might be, you know, uh, not poor, but not middle class on the fringe. You have to take that amount out, too. Those people who are actually noticed by the, the lower class, which is a different standard. The white people that I'm communicating to right now, that is the number I'm going to take out of this equation. Now, of all the people in America that gets recognized one way or the other in any accomplishments or anything they do, this many people out of the whole country, all these white people are not seen. Those people are not recognized. Their crimes go uncounted. They're not represented in anything. They don't think like we do. They don't believe like we do. They're not bad people. They are not recognized because the rich, upper, 
left, the blacks on the fringe, and whoever else can afford to be if they're on the fringe, don't have the power to see these people. So all they see on the news, black on black crime, black on white crime, and all they see in their neighborhoods is suffering and disrespect. People not giving a damn about them. People not caring about them. People not giving two shits whether they eat, whether they can accomplish any anything. These people don't get respected. These people are going to be angry. They have hurts. They got wants and they got needs. But all they hear is, we need this and we need that from blacks and Mexicans and even other whites that get recognized. These people are different. Their numbers are large. Their pain is great. Their education, not so. But they are educated. Their will to learn, not there anymore. They're not motivated. These people see everybody get everything that was promised. Promised through what? Promised how? Promised why? Promised by who? I tried to prove a point and the video stopped. And I guess I had to get my video camera and try to re record or just even listen so I can tape an audio as I replay this back over and over in my mind to try to point something out. These people who are not being recognized in our country, not black, not Mexican, are not Asians, Dominicans, or even Europeans. They're white Americans. I watched a commercial today and it says, every red-blooded American loves football. Why couldn't it just be every American? There's a divide there. Why do they got to be red-blooded Americans? When they can be Americans. See, those people that people call trailer trash and uh, supremacists, you place people on the outskirts and they watch life go by. They see a handful of incidents around the nation polarized because that's all they see and when the next revolution happens it won't be because of any colors any, any blacks or any Mexicans it's going to be because of these white people who are not being noticed not being recognized and not being respected say enough of this shit we can sit back as, as, as a minority and say oh we are minorities but like people say, and you know, everybody's given the same opportunity, all you gotta do is work hard and you'll get it. But if ain't nobody giving no jobs and what little jobs you see go to somebody else, then they got no love for you because if somebody else did something to them way back when, you get not recognized because you are expected to have. And those who are expected to have don't right now. And they are upset. And they're not being seen. They're not being recognized. How they have to stay in their house because they're scared of crime. Because the three black people in the whole fucking neighborhood want to rob somebody. You know what I'm saying? First time somebody Mexican moves in, something happens. It just backs up a stereotype. And yeah. You're going to get bad black people. You're going to get bad Mexicans. You're going to get bad Asians. But please, let's not go through society without having bad white people. Because these white people who see bad white people blame it on black people because they got to do shit to do with that. And it's stupid. How is another poor group of people going to blame another poor group of people for taking something that they have never had power or control over in the first place? It's because of that promise. And then you hear people talk about eugenics. You are the ones they're erasing. 